Today, I will be doing a review of Dr. Squatch's Pine Tar Soap. So the first thing I wanna talk about with Dr. Squatch is why I bought their products. And this is a couple of years back. It, their marketing and advertisement is great. I think it's the main reason why most people buy their, their products or at least start to buy their products and look into it is because they're gonna hit you with a pretty funny commercial. But at the same time of being funny, they're gonna tell you how the soap that you're using is, probably has all chemicals in it, it's really not manly, um, and you check them out. So you look at their website and then you get a Sasquatch smoking a pipe and a smoking jacket and you're like, well, that's pretty cool. I'd, I'd wear this on a t-shirt. I mean, it's, it's, it's clever, it's, it's awesome to look at. And then they say, oh, it's all natural ingredients. I mean, I could actually read every ingredient in here and I know what every ingredient is. But we're gonna first review, we'll talk about pine tar. And my first memory of pine tar is probably best shown with a clip. They might be gonna call George Brett out. Well, he is. is with, he's out. Yes, sir. Brett is out, look at, look at this. Brett is out. And he's steaming mad. He is out and having to be forcibly restrained from hitting plate umpire Tim McClellan. So I, I personally think that is the greatest reaction to getting thrown out of a baseball game. Uh, I don't think there is a better one. There may be. If there is, please let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd appreciate it. I'd like to check it out. But him charging out of the dugout, screaming, and then having to, to, to usher him out is, is just great. Um, but why am I sharing this? It, it's basically to explain like pine tar in itself. It's, it's a sticky substance. Baseball players use it on their bats to, to make sure that the bat doesn't slip out. Wood generally is kind of slip, wood bats are generally kind of slippery. They can use it up to 18 inches. And after 18 inches, they say that what will happen is, is that the ball will actually stick to the bat a little longer, causing it to, to get more contact with the bat and it'll go further. He hit a home run there and that's why uh, he was thrown out, was he, he had it over 18 inches. But pine tar comes from trees, from pine trees. And um, it's basically, if they heat, they heat the trees and out comes a, a, a kind of a resin tarry material. And it's, it's used for so many different things. I mean, people treat psoriasis, eczema, uh, dandruff. I mean, it's, it treats a lot of different things. And I think that part of the reason why it, um, why it's, why it works is because of the fact that it's like a sticky substance. I mean, this, the soap itself is not sticky, it, but chemically it is. And I think that it picks up a lot of dirt. You'll feel really clean using this product, using probably any pine tar soap, but I, I happen to use Dr. Squash's pine tar soap. And, um, I do plan on using others, so if you know of any, please also leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but I think th that's part of the reason. It does a really good job of cleaning. I mean, it's I use this about once or twice a week. I have a lot of other soaps that I use, and part of it is because I'm going to be doing reviews on them, partly because I also like to change it up and use different things. Um, it, it It is going to do a good job of your beard. I use this once or twice I use it once every week or maybe every other week and it'll strip my beard clean. I'll do a conditioner after that. I, I really love pine tar soap. I think it's great. It smells really good. So their soap, uh, I, I smell a little orange in here and I know they have orange in, in the ingredients, but it, it's like a citrusy pine and with a little tar smell. It, it's definitely manly and, and definitely something I like using. So as you can see, it's also an exfoliator. You can actually see pieces of oatmeal in there. It also has sand. So it's gonna scratch you a little bit, not like where you're gonna be coming out of the shower and someone's gonna be like, what the hell happened to you? It's not that bad, but it's you're definitely gonna feel it. I like it. It definitely does a good job of removing all the dead cells and things that you have on your body. It cleans really well. And um, I definitely highly recommend it. I think Dr. Squash's soap smells really, really good. So one of the things I was interested in, like how does pine tar soap work? And did some research and basically the, the way it treats psoriasis and eczema and other things is that it slows down cell growth. So a lot of the times those, those conditions are just cell growth going like a little bit crazy. Like it's, it's not normal cell growth and this will actually slow it down. And I think it also does a really good job of stripping all of the other things that are on you that are gonna be irritants 
dust mites, oil, uh, other things that are on your skin that you kind of don't want to. So it's a sticky substance chemically, and I think that it pulls everything off. So it, it, it's, a, it's a great soap if you do have those kind of issues. It's also just a good soap to use, I'd say once a week. And, and I definitely highly recommend Dr. Squatch's. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to trying some other pine tar soaps because there, there's a lot of different things that you could put in soap. I mean, this one, for instance, the ingredients, olive oil, sustainable palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, orange essential oil, pine fragrance, pine tar, oatmeal and sandwich of the exfoliators, activated charcoal, Kalon clay and sea salt. So I, I actually understand every ingredient in here, know what they do. I, I think that says a lot for their, for their products. Most of their product, all their products are all natural. So I definitely highly recommend their pine tar soap. I would say go out and try it. I know there's others out there and I'm looking forward to trying them. Dr. Squatch's soaps cost about $7 each. I'd say the pine tar soap is gonna last you about two weeks if you were using it every day. I definitely highly recommend get, putting it into a soap dish so it's not just sitting on the shower. It'll, it won't last that long at all if you don't do that. And, and you can also, t once it dries, I take it out, I put it back in the box so that I could like use a different type of soap. So I definitely recommend that. Overall, I definitely highly recommend this product. So if you could, please leave a comment on what your favorite bar of soap is and what you're currently using. And hopefully I get that to in a review. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more content from me, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscription button. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video.